we're going to be focusing on the data preparation features for our October 2018 update of the Power BI desktop in this video. And we have two really exciting preview features this month under data prep. The first of which is data profiling in the query editor. The query editor has a lot of great uh, functionality in terms of transforming and getting your data ready and clean to use in your data model and your report. Uh, but it's still quite difficult to kind of like assess the quality of your data before you get in there and start doing all those transformations. So that's what data profiling in the query editor is all about, trying to bridge that gap so you can understand the quality of your data before you start going and transforming it. So the, this is a preview feature, so you will have to enable it in the options dialog. But once you have, if you go into your query editor, you'll see this new uh, little bar area on the uh, on top of your columns and that's going to give you an idea of the quality of your column right away. So you can see in this example there's some red floating here which indicates that there are some errors. Uh, in fact 42 errors as you, as you can see when you hover over it or about 4% of the of my total row do I have of all my rows do I have errors in. Um, and you can see right from here, I can choose to take action by removing those errors if I wanted to. You know, just one click, don't need to right click and do anything extra. It's just right there and hover. If I go under view, I can also check this column quality box. And what that's going to do is it's going to expand that area a little bit more and show me more detail. So I can see the percent of errors right here. And again, I can take action right by hovering over it. You can also see the distribution of your data through the, this new data profiling functionality as well. So if I jump over to my customers table, again, you know, I can see through here, here that all of my data is very clean. I have 100% have valid data in each of these columns. So I'm going to turn the quality off and instead I'm going to turn on column distribution. And with this, I'm able to get an idea of how the values are distributed across my columns. So in this case, you can see that I have, in these first three, I have 91 distinct uh, data. So in this case, strings, distinct strings, and all 91 of them are um, unique. So each individual row has a unique value, which makes sense considering I'm on names and IDs and things like that. But whenever I go over to my contact title, I can see a different distribution. So I can get a sense through this column chart, the distribution, and I can see underneath it that there are 12 distinct different uh, titles for my contacts. And two of them, just 2%, are actually unique and only that person has that title. And again, trying to allow you to be able to take action on things right away. If you wanted to remove duplicates for whatever reason, in this case, it doesn't make much sense to remove the duplicates, but in some cases it does. And if it does, you can just click on this option right here and we'll do that remove duplicate option right for you without having to go and hunt for it in the right click or uh, ribbon header area. This is just our first release of our uh, data profiling capabilities in the Power Query Editor. And we have many new capabilities planned for it as well. So some of the things we have planned in the future include things like the ability to see more detailed value distribution information, and even being able to apply filters on specific values, uh, which is gonna be like the equivalent to cell level context menu filters that are currently available. And so you know, those are just a couple of good examples. If you have any feedback on what else you'd like to see in this area, please let us know. Um, and so we can prioritize getting those added as well. The second feature on our list is fuzzy matching options for merging queries. We've had merging queries for basically forever. And it's always been having to require the, the matching to happen with an exact match. But now you can use fudgy, fuzzy matching logic as well whenever merging your uh, tables together. So again, this is a preview feature, so you're going to have to enable it in the options dialog. But once you have, if you go into edit queries and say I wanted to merge my people and my sales table together, what I can do 
is I can go in and I can choose to merge my queries. And I'll be able to pick, you know, my two tables that I'm going to merge together. And I'm going to say that I want to use my fuzzy matching to compare the merge. And that's all I really have to do to get these two tables to to match using fuzzy logic, so that, which means, in case you don't know, that the that you don't have to have an exact match. We'll match things that are very close together, like Will and William, and William with the capital W versus William with the lowercase w. And so we, you, all you have to do is, like I said, check that box and hit OK, and we will automatically merge. But you can also do some more advanced options as well under this fuzzy merge options dialog. And here you can set a threshold, which basically kind of like saying how fuzzy you want us to be in our merging. So, you know, do we want to be a little more loose with what should match versus being more closely tied to the, the to how the values look. You can also choose if you want to ignore casing or ignore spaces. You can also specify an exact number of matches that you want to use whenever um, you want to get as a result whenever merging. And lastly, you can also specify a transformation table as well. And so this would be a really good solution for you if you wanted to be able to um, specify even if there's certain values you know in your company that these two things need to be merged together, even if they look nothing alike, you can use this transformation table to be able to merge them together even if our fuzzy matching logic wouldn't have paired them together. So once everything's set up, I'm leaving the defaults, you just hit OK. And we'll automatically do the merge for you. Let me just expand the table so you can see. And you can see things like Bill pairing with Bill lowercase, even though you know they wouldn't have been an exact match. So that's our fuzzy matching logic feature. Make sure to give this feature a try and let us know if you see anything that needs to change while we're in the preview period for the feature.